Let's go to the U.S. now. A live look at Georgia State right now where the polls are open. Voters casting their ballots in a critical Senate runoff that will decide how Washington functions over the next four years. I really don't like how things been going, especially seeing that I am a cafeteria worker without unemployment most of the time. I think that it was very critical for me to get out here. Up for grabs, two Senate seats that will determine who controls the upper house. If the Democratic challengers manage to knock off the Republican incumbents, the Senate will be split, and that would give the deciding vote to Vice President-elect Kamala Harris. Yesterday, both President Trump and President-elect Joe Biden held rallies urging Georgians to get out and vote today. We won three times here. <laughs> Each recount, you know what I mean? I think we should count it as three states. One, three times. And now we need you to vote again in record numbers. The fate of our country is at stake. It's in your hands. You must deliver a Republican victory so big that the Democrats can't steal it or cheat it away. We have all, <laughs> they'll be trying, though, I'll tell you that. CTV's Abby Kugadasen is standing by with more in Washington. Abby, good to see you. Uh, the spirits are high right now in Georgia State. The polls are open, as we can see. Set the stage and let us know how close do you think this race is going to be? Morning, Anita. Absolutely. All eyes on Georgia, not just in the state, but around the country and perhaps around the world, because these two Senate races are not just about who will represent the state in the Senate, but will also be about which party controls that chamber. And if the Democrats can pick up both of these seats, if John Ossoff and Raphael Warnock can win here after the polls close today, that will make it much easier for Joe Biden's incoming administration to do things like pass legislation. It will make it easier for him to, you know, name his uh, cabinet picks and have them approved by the Senate because the Senate would be Democrat controlled. It would make it easier for him to appoint ambassadors. We know that Canada went some eight months without an ambassador to the U.S. because things got stalled in the Senate. That's how important that, uh, that chamber is. But again, if the Republicans hold on to the Senate, Mitch McConnell and the Republicans will make it much more difficult for Joe Biden and the Democrats to do very much once they take office on January 20th. So that's how crucial this chamber is. As you mentioned, you know, the the polls have opened. Some 3 million people have already voted early. That's more than the last uh, uh, runoff where Georgians voted. Um, so it's already, you know, a great turnout already, and they're expecting more today as well. We may not have the results today, just like on Election Day, because of the great turnout. It may take some time, Anita. All right. So, yeah, tomorrow is definitely the day we, uh, we start with that vote counting. Uh, Abby, U.S. President Donald Trump and soon-to-be President uh, Joe Biden making their last-minute pitch in Georgia, really getting the royal treatment the Georgians are, right? Yeah, absolutely. Both the president, the outgoing president and the incoming president in Georgia yesterday, you know, we heard from both parties, representatives, not just the incoming and outgoing president, saying that this election, both of these runoffs are about the future of the country. We heard Donald Trump there. He's still talking about the fact that he didn't lose in November when, in fact, all the facts do point at the fact that he did. And Joe Biden mentioned that they won Georgia three times. He's, of course, referring to the multiple recounts that happened in that state. There is some concern among Republicans that Donald Trump is spending more time talking about himself and, you know, a rigged election, which is, of course, baseless when he makes those claims, as opposed to supporting Loeffler and um, Purdue in these uh, runoffs that are happening today, that by putting this uh, doubt into the minds of Republican voters, that it might actually suppress them from voting today. And so we did hear a lot from the president yesterday as he continued to say that this was a rigged election. This, of course, comes after that stunning phone call over the weekend when he spoke with Georgia Secretary. Secretary of State, and we heard him pressuring that elected official to find him some 11,000 votes and overturn the election results in Georgia. Um, and he, of course, has come out and said, you know, the facts actually, Mr. President, don't point to the fact that you won. We have recounted it multiple times. Joe Biden is the victor here. And uh, Joe Biden, as we know, will be confirmed um, and, sorry, inaugurated on January 20th. And again, another big day tomorrow when Congress convenes to certify that vote. All right, I got my calendar next to me. I'm taking notes here. A lot of big days coming up, including today, uh, big voting day for Georgia. Abby Kugadasen in D.C., thank you for this.